Black waitress feed homeless man, then he slipped her a note. When she read it, she couldn't stop crying. In the heart of a small Texas town, nestled among the buzzing streets and under the wide open sky, stood Luby's Diner. A beacon of warmth and the aroma of home-cooked meals, it attracted locals and travelers alike. Among its dedicated staff was Emily Johnson, whose presence behind the counter was as integral to Luby's as the aged neon sign flickering outside. With an infectious smile and a heart as wide as the Texas Plains, Emily had become a cherished figure to many who passed through the diner's doors. But not all who wandered into Luby's sought warmth and returned smiles. Charles Buck Miller, an 82-year-old World War II veteran with a cantankerous nature, presented a challenge unlike any Emily had faced. His arrival into the diner was like a storm cloud passing over the sun, his gruff demeanor and sharp words casting a shadow that could chill the warmest of atmospheres. Buck's requests were as demanding as his personality, each order delivered with an expectation of perfection that left little room for error. Yet, where others saw a storm, Emily saw a challenge. Her response to Buck's harshness was not one of irritation or dismay, but of unwavering kindness and patience. Each sharp word was met with a gentle smile, every demanding request fulfilled with grace. Emily's approach puzzled many of her colleagues, who struggled to understand her persistence. Why expend such effort on a man who seemed as impenetrable as a fortress? But Emily saw beyond the brusque interior. In the moments of silence, when Buck's gaze softened as he looked out the window, or the rare, almost imperceptible nod of satisfaction at a meal while served, Emily recognized the traces of a life fully lived marked by its own battles and scars. Her kindness was not a mere act of duty, but a recognition of shared humanity, an acknowledgment that beneath the surface there was more to Buck than his cantankerous shell. The dance of contrasting dispositions became a silent testimony to the power of compassion within the diner's walls. Emily's unwavering kindness towards Buck earned her the bewildered admiration of her colleagues, who watched as she navigated the turbulent waters with the grace of a seasoned sailor. In her, they saw the embodiment of a principle often lost in the hustle of daily life, that kindness, when offered without expectation of return, can bridge the widest of divides, transforming even the stormiest of relationships into harbors of understanding. As seasons changed and years rolled by, the visits from Charles Buck Miller to Luby's Diner wove themselves into the fabric of Emily Johnson's everyday life. With the reliability of the sun rising in the east, Charles made his presence known, each entrance marked by the jingle of the diner door and the expectation of his meal served just so, piping hot, no matter the dish. His gruff demeanor and uncompromising standards had become as much a part of the diner's ambiance as the aroma of freshly brewed coffee and the sizzle of bacon on the griddle. Despite the passage of time, Charles' rugged exterior showed no signs of softening. His demands remained as sharp as ever, each word delivered with the weight of a man accustomed to life's hardships. Yet, Emily's response to this unyielding character was a testament to her extraordinary spirit. Her approach, unwaveringly gentle, patient, and kind, stood in stark contrast to Charles' brusqueness. Where others might falter or respond in kind, Emily met each of Charles' sharp edges with a softness that seemed to defy the natural order of things. This unique dynamic between the grouchy veteran and the benevolent waitress became a subject of quiet admiration among the staff and patrons of Luby's. Emily's grace under pressure, her ability to greet each of Charles' critiques with a smile, and her unwavering commitment to serve him with dignity were spoken of in hushed tones. It was clear to all who observed them that an unspoken bond had formed, a connection that transcended the usual exchange between customer and server. This bond was not built on grand gestures or profound exchanges of wisdom. 
Instead, it grew from the small moments, the slight nod of acknowledgement from Charles when his meal met his exacting standards, the brief moments when his eyes softened as Emily placed his order before him, or the rare, almost imperceptible smile that occasionally danced on the edges of his lips. These fleeting glimpses into the man behind the gruff exterior were like rays of sunlight breaking through clouds, revealing the depth of the connection that had formed over countless meals and conversations. Emily's gentle persistence and Charles' reluctant acceptance had become a quiet narrative of resilience, a daily reminder to those around them that patience and kindness could indeed soften even the hardest of hearts. In the dance of their daily interactions, a story of human connection unfolded, a testament to the power of consistency, the strength of character, and the unexpected beauty that can emerge from the most unlikely of friendships. The day Charles Buck Miller's presence ceased to grace the confines of Luby's Diner marked the beginning of a palpable void in Emily Johnson's world. The routine that had etched itself into the rhythm of her days, his punctual arrival, the predictable chorus of grumbles, and the meticulous demands for his meals abruptly halted, leaving behind an unsettling hush. This silence, so out of place amidst the clatter of dishes and the murmur of conversation, bore heavily on Emily, a stark reminder of the absence of the man who had become an unexpected constant in her life. As days turned into weeks without a sign of Charles, Emily's concern deepened, a solitary sentiment amidst colleagues who found relief in the cessation of his visits. They could not understand the growing worry that shadowed Emily's thoughts, nor the sense of loss that began to take root in her heart. To them, Charles had been nothing more than a difficult customer, a challenge to be met with resignation. But to Emily, he had been a fixture in her life, a relationship that, though fraught with difficulty, had grown into something resembling friendship. When the news of Charles' death reached her, it was as if a cold wind had swept through the diner, extinguishing the warmth of hope that she'd held that he might return. The revelation struck with the force of an unexpected blow, leaving her to grapple with a grief she had not anticipated. The man who had tested her patience and kindness, who had become an integral part of her daily existence, had departed from this world without a final word for farewell. In the silence that followed the news, Emily found herself reflecting on the complex tapestry of human connections, on the unlikely bonds that form in the most unexpected of places. The absence of Charles' gruff voice and the demanding presence left a space in her life that was keenly felt, a testament to the impact he had made on her. She mourned not just the loss of a regular customer, but the loss of a man who, in his own challenging way, had taught her about resilience, patience, and the subtle forms that affection can take. In the wake of his passing, Emily carried with her not just the memory of his demands and criticisms, but also the silent lessons of understanding and compassion that had grown from their encounters. The void left by Charles's absence was a poignant reminder of the depth of the connections we forge, often in the most unlooked-for circumstances, and the enduring impact they leave on our lives. In the quiet aftermath of Charles Buck Miller's passing, the routine of Emily Johnson's life continued with a new somber rhythm. The absence of his familiar gruff presence at Luby's Diner lingered like a shadow, a constant reminder of the void his departure had created. It was during one of these ordinary days, amidst the clink of coffee cups and the low murmur of conversations, that an unexpected call shattered the monotony, weaving a thread of the extraordinary into the fabric of Emily's life. The voice on the other end of the line belonged to a lawyer, a bearer of news that would tilt the axis of Emily's world. With a formality that seemed at odds with the message he delivered, he informed her of a bequest that left her breathless, a significant sum of money in Charles's cherished car left to her in his will. This revelation was a beam of light piercing through the veil of grief illuminating the depths of a relationship she had only begun to comprehend. This act of posthumous generosity unveiled a new facet of Charles's character, revealing a layer of gratitude and respect that his outward demeanor had seldom betrayed. The man who had presented himself as nothing more than a cantankerous old veteran had in his final act 
expressed a profound acknowledgment of Emily's unwavering kindness and patience. It was a silent testament to the unseen impact of her compassionate spirit, a validation that her kindness had not only reached but deeply moved one of the most impenetrable hearts. The legacy Charles left behind did more than just transform Emily's financial circumstances. It reshaped her understanding of the human heart. It served as a powerful reminder that beneath the surface of even the most forbidding exteriors lie deeps of gratitude and affection that can transcend words. This unexpected gift was not just a transfer of material wealth, but a passing on of trust and appreciation, a final nod of respect to the woman who had shown him unyielding kindness. As Emily processed the magnitude of this gesture, her thoughts turned to the broader implications of her interactions with Charles. Their relationship, marked by daily challenges and quiet victories, had been a testament to the transformative power of kindness. It underscored the truth that compassion and patience can bridge the gap between the most disparate of souls, fostering connections that defy expectations. This realization strengthened Emily's resolve to live a life guided by the principles of kindness and compassion. With a heart emboldened by the knowledge that her actions had left an indelible mark on another's life, she continued to approach her work and her interactions with a renewed sense of purpose. Charles's legacy was not merely a gift of material wealth, but a beacon, guiding her on a path of genuine connection and heartfelt service. In the wake of this profound experience, Emily's belief in the power of kindness was not only reaffirmed but deepened. The legacy Charles left her was a testament to the invisible threads of compassion that weave through the tapestry of our lives, reminding us that acts of kindness, however small, can echo in ways we might never anticipate, transforming lives in their wake.